Hey guys, welcome back to GM Games and welcome back to another episode of Out of the Park Baseball 24 with the Chicago White Sox. Uh, we made it and we actually won two straight World Series titles. Uh, we got knocked out in the American League Championship Series this season by the eventual champion Cleveland Guardians. Uh, we're into an offseason where, honestly, we're not going to be able to do much. Um... We don't have a lot of money to spend. Actually, we have no money to spend. Um, and fan interest is good, so I think we'll be all right. I don't think we're losing anybody that um, that will will cause us to be, you know, cause the fans to, you know, be in an uproar or whatever. Um, we from a from a, a positional standpoint. Um, I don't know, maybe Jake Jaloff gets the, the nod at first base this season. And then we need a shortstop, which I believe was going to be Josh Moore. Um, he hit decent enough in high A ball. The glove plays. So I think he's our starting shortstop. The bat is, uh, at least against righties, is better than what we were getting previously. And then against lefties, we can go with Tamas. So I don't know that we need a lot uh, in our lineup, I and mean, we were kind of leaning on Peyton Graham to, to be a, a, a league average bat at first base, and I don't know that's an op if that's an option. Maybe we go Riley Jackson at first base, train him up there. I mean, the ratings aren't great, but, I mean, he proved last year that he could hit a bit. Um, the alternative is to pivot at catcher. But the problem there is we don't really have anybody ready now. Well, I mean, I suppose Jeremy Maxey is bat. Because we've got Maxey and... Where is he? There's a, another catcher here someplace. Did we call him up already? Did we move him? Or am I thinking about my Cub series? I can't remember. I get them all confused, but maybe that's the answer. Maybe we go with... Oh, it's Andrews, right. Andrews' is bat isn't ready yet. Um, but maybe we go with Maxi. You know, he's pretty much developed as a catcher. He's not going to hit very well. Might run into a ball here and there. But he's elite defensively. And maybe we go with that as our option and we try to trade... Sugaste and see if we can pick up a bat. Maybe. Oh, nobody wants him. Interesting. Okay. Well, that stinks. <laughs> uh, League Madras. No, he's making $5.3 million. Colton Kauser. High work ethic. Bat's not there either. Yeah, we're not going to get much for him, it doesn't look like. Um... Corey Lee looks okay, but nothing special. Because um, I think that's the only contract we have that's up after this season. That's not where I wanted to go. And we got O'Neill Cruz, but he's somebody I'm, I'm likely to try to bring back. He wants 25. Uh, the most we can offer him next season is 18-6. I bet we could get him. I don't want to sign him for six years, though. The problem is we don't have another third base another third base uh, prospect ready to go. Our, our best batting prospect is Paulson, who's an outfielder. Uh, and our outfield is not in terrible shape with Lee, Buxton, and Green. And we may need him next season if Buxton's ratings start to slip. We can move jung Hoo Lee to center. Um, so I can't move Paulson because I need him. Um, wow those are interesting ratings maybe we go with Anthony Garcia maybe we give him a, uh, a chance and he becomes Joey Gallo it can't hurt let's bring him up and see what happens can't hurt I suppose uh, Mullinax is a name that Probably move, be moved. What if we package Mullinax and Suga State? Does that do anything? Does a little bit. Does a little bit. Is it going to 
give us a, an option. Is going to give us a bat someplace. Eric Pena, I don't like the avoid K. He hit pretty well in Omaha last season. He hit really well in Omaha last year. 40 home runs. Um, I mean, it gives us some options. Nothing. What if I retained? Just out of curiosity. Helping weird first base profile, no power. Mason Pike. That's not a bad shortstop. He's gonna get on base, which I mean, obviously there's value there. Luis Placen uh, Placencia. What do his ratings look like? I mean, those are. I dig that against righties. You can't hit lefties, but Cam Collier. Cincinnati's given us some options here, man. That might be the way to go. And then we can try backing off and seeing if we can not retain, but let's see what else is available. Kurt Millett. He's a first baseman. It's definitely a first baseman. Those are really weird ratings. I don't think I've ever seen that combination. It looks like a handgun. That's really weird. Um, Khalil Watson. No, I didn't really develop like the Khalil Watson. Blaze Alexander. So Cincinnati had a couple of names, and I think Kansas City was the other one, but I don't necessarily want to trade with an interdivisional rival. So Cincinnati. They had Jesse Brundle. Looks like an okay second baseman. He's 24. He can hit lefties pretty good. I think that was what we needed, right? Was somebody who could hit lefties. Because we've got... I guess it doesn't really matter. We just need someone who can hit. Because we've got Jaloff as our starting first baseman at the moment. I mean, he's better against lefties. So maybe we start Jaloff against lefties and find someone who can play first base against righties. Lucencia well, could play first base. That's a pretty solid bat against right-handers. Um... Collier can play all over the field. Can we get Collier and Placencia? I have to give up additional piece. I don't want to do that. I think I like Cam Collier just because he's really good defensively and he can hit against righty. So we'll go with a Cam Collier. Let's back off here. So they'll take this offer. So we'll retain 85% of Adrian Suga's stay um, and pick up Cam Collier, and he'll be our starting first baseman against righties. Yep, I'm good with that. Let's make that deal. The fans like that we pick up Cam Collier. So you got to get a little creative, right, when you don't have the, uh, the ability to... Um, uh, when you don't have the ability to spend money so if for now we're gonna go with something like that and honestly i may leave anthony garcia up to be our um to be like our main pinch hitter off the bat uh, off the bench i mean he's gonna hit you know a buck 50 or something but i mean he might put up joey gallo numbers with these ratings he might I mean, it'd be worth giving it a shot uh i don't think we have to do International. No, we already ran practice. All right, let's sim ahead to um, December.
All right, so let's go ahead and run practice. Uh, we lost all the players. I don't know where they went. All right. Um, let's look at next. Yeah, we have negative 6.9. We have money for next season, but that's only because O'Neill Cruz's contract comes off the books. Um, and the problem is we don't really have anybody who can slide over there. I mean, Jalof can play over there defensively. Maybe we'll see what he gives us offensively this season, and maybe he is the replacement for uh, Cruz next season. Uh, what can we get? Just out of curiosity. Anybody interested? No, not interested in an O'Neill Cruz. Uh, we go after an Isaac Pacheco. He's making 10, 14, 17, 17. The Rangers have some interest. I mean, Pacheco's not a bad get. He's as good defensively. He's a captain. He signed longer term. Nope. So Cruz is better. Cruz is definitely better. Has higher contact, higher gap power, higher home run power. Better avoid K. The only thing he does worse is he, these avoid Ks. That being said, against well, the potential is still there for uh, Pacheco. Still, if he develops from a potential perspective, he's right there. And the reality is that Cruz doesn't want. How old? He's twenty-seven. I don't hate it. It's it's definitely a step down. But we don't really have a third baseman ready to go. 10, 14, 17, 17. Yeah, I think we got to stick with Cruz. He's been so good. In fact, let's talk to him and see if we can get that number down here a little bit. So we want six years. What if we went five? That first year has to be 18. Second year can be 27, five. Then 25. 22, five. And 20. Is he interested in something like that? He's not. We might be able to sign him come preseason if we get any sort of uh, bump. Um, Dorito, yeah, he's coming along nicely too. Uh, he's going to be a really good, uh, really good ball player for us. He's going to start in Double A next season, I think. Get sidetracked easily, like a raccoon. Uh, Alejandro Cervedo's not a, I don't know. The bat isn't bad, but the power just hasn't developed yet. He's 22. I mean, we'll give him some time, but if, if his home run power doesn't develop, he can't play first base for us. Um, let's look at the trade block. Anything of interest here? We got Alec Thomas. Making $25 million. Looks pretty good, but still making $25 million. Royce Lewis. Who's our second baseman? I've already forgotten. It's been like two days, right? Harai is our second baseman. Hernandez is our DH. I mean, we can make Harai our first baseman if we're able to pick up a Royce Lewis. But we can't afford him. I mean, that's really what this boils down to. I'd love Royce Lewis on the team, stick him at second base. But we can't afford him. So, it is what it is. So, let's get up to Rule 5. And then I will sim ahead to Internet. We lost Max Meyer. Okay, so we did get a, a fan interest hit there. We're at 99 at the moment. Yeah, there were a couple of relievers, if I remember correctly, that were, uh, that were considered popular. Let's get up to the Rule 5.
we lost Schreiber as well. So that puts us down to a what? 96. Okay. So we go from a 100 to a 96 because we lost a couple of relievers. That makes sense. sure we don't have to put anybody on the rule on the on the 40 man we still have Molinex that we can move if we need to I don't know how much value he has left at this point but and most of these guys I don't I mean these are all players I just signed to fill up our to fill up our roster so I'm not too overly concerned about it uh, TJ Ferris I gotta I, I'm not gonna put him on the 40 man I am sorry uh, to my dear friend Josh, but I'm not putting him on the 40 man. We will see if he gets claimed. Uh, let's get through the rule five. All right, we lost some of the uh, filler. I don't know, Powers, this was a bummer. That was my fault. All right, well, I didn't really want to lose him, but it is what it is. Pitching potential. Pitchers. All right. So what do we got? We got R Radarni Salvador. He's extremely popular. I think we take him just because of that. And it takes him away from Cleveland. We love that. That should kick us back up to 100. 98. Okay. Just lost Cedric Mullins. It's fine. Uh, Joey Cantillo. He's now 30 years old. He looks okay. He still looks good. Boston Kellner, the former White Sox. Uh, he's not ready to go as a pitcher. He's just, just not... Tim Brannon, he's a fan favorite. I think we'll take a shot at him as well. And that gets that should get us up to 99. It gets us back to 99, yep, which is great. Uh, I want to, are there any salaries, any players that were ready to just, I was gonna say just ready to DFA. I don't think there is, or there are rather. Yeah, there's not. All right, so I'm going to go ahead now and sim up to international free agency. And we're probably going to start the season. Maybe we go through April and I don't know. We'll see because I've only been going for, what, 15, 20 minutes or something? Yeah, 20 minutes. So I'm going to sim ahead up to international amateurs. We'll come back. We'll do that. And we'll get uh, our ninth season underway. So I will be back in a minute. All right, we're back with international amateurs this is going to be a really quick segment because we're just going to do international amateurs and then i'm going to some add to the beginning of the season and we'll get the season started so um vega looks pretty good but the um the change up likely never develops i mean he's super far off i mean he could turn into anything he could turn into nothing i mean they all are right they're all only 16. Um, I think Morosini is, is the obvious choice. That bat, you know, if the bat holds up, it, it obviously really plays. Um, maybe if we have enough money after Morosini, we can throw a little bit at Campos and see if that can work. So we've got 5.2. So what if we offer him 4.2? My guess is that it's not enough, but we'll see. Go here so we can see the actual signings. My guess is we're gonna have to dump it all into Morosini in order to get him. No, I thought we were gonna have to offer it all. Turns out we didn't. So we went from uh, one, uh, two million to four, and he took it. So that'll work. Uh, and let's go to pitchers. Let's see if we can throw. We've got a million. 
Yeah, he's already getting 1.6. Alright, never mind. What about Monjadas? The changeup never develops. That might be it. We might be one and done with this round of... Oh, I don't know. Gordon Cadenhead? Sadenhead? Didn't really, didn't really scout him at all, but those ratings aren't terrible. Only wants 160. That's off from 250. See if he'll take that. Trade proposal. Tyler Guif Guifoli for Willem Couture. Hmm. He's really good. Oh, but he's got... Yeah, he does have nasty platoon. Nope, we're not going to make that deal. Not going to make that deal. Couture, that defense is so good. So good. All right, so we signed Sadenhead. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, I don't know how good he's going to be, but that's not a terrible signing. Um, I think we're going to keep the last 750. Since we're, we're so light on money, I don't want to... Well, do we... I mean, I, I just what I don't want is... I just don't feel like getting into a bidding war. Like, it's just going to wait. It's just a waste of time. Um... Those players look any good? Are there any batters? No. I think we will go ahead and finish up here. Let's get up to the preseason. I don't suspect we'll get a. Uh, uh, a bump to our... Oh, we did. Okay. Just after seeing how the offseason gone, he's raised our team budget from $234 million to $250 million. Well, all right. Thank you very much. So we do have some money now. We have $8 million this year. We have $17 million now for next season. Uh, what does that mean from a O'Neill Cruz perspective? Where is he? Right there. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, not much, because we still can't really offer him anything. We might be able to once the season starts. Is there anybody we can sign this year that will help us? Um, talked about Joey Gallo. We could pick up the actual Joey Gallo. I think we're good there, though. Let's look at starting pitchers. Can never have too much pitching, I guess. How much does he want? He wants $10 million. A four-pitch pitcher. Man. Maybe. How much does Javier want? 22. No compensation. Can't really offer that, but we can offer... Joe's Weak. He only wants... Thing is, if we offer that, I mean, I think we... Let's wait until we get to spring training. Because a lot of times, once they get to spring training, they only start looking for one-year deals. I want to try to keep as much of the money for next year free as possible. Oh, good. Moore's offensive ratings dipped. Still... Not terrible against righties. I mean, it's still passable against righties given his glove. He can't hit. He can't hit lefties at all. So we need to keep him out of the lineup against lefties. So, um, all right. So I'm going to sim ahead to the end of the preseason. If I'm able to make any additional signings in the meantime, I'll let you know. But I will come back when it is. And that was a fly you heard buzzing by the mic. Uh, I will be back at the start of the regular season. Be right back. All right. We're back right before. Um, the start of the season, and I did make one deal. Um, I noticed Cole Phillips was being uh, was being shopped around by Atlanta, 
Pitched 175 innings a year ago, won 14 games, struck out 185. So we traded uh, Mullinax. Mike Trout traded to Miami. I just saw that. We traded Mullinax, uh, Michael Mullinax, who, I, you know, I've never been able to get him to develop properly. So, you know, maybe it's me. We traded Mullinax and then Randy Snyder, who was just organizational depth, in exchange for Cole Phillips. Uh, he'll be our number five starter. Still some room for growth there. So that's the one deal we made. Uh, we have 30 players on our roster. We have to send two pitchers to the minor leagues. It shouldn't be too hard. Although Brannon was a Rule 5 guy, so was Salvador. So I think Balls goes to the minor leagues. That would be David Altamirano. He can't. has to be... Right, I want to send him down. Do I, I guess I have to DFA. Um, so it looks like this might be harder than anticipated. Because obviously none of these guys are going down. Perez, Appleby, Serna, uh, Vera, Gonzalez, Griffith, Wolfuck, Altam um, um, McKinney, Phillips, Ray. Those are our starters. So, um, Dollard, no. Silvas can go down. And... We'll just send Brandon back. The fans don't care. All right, good. So, uh, as far as our five starters go, Phillips was the worst. But he also, he had this one really bad outing and then pitched 10 scoreless innings, giving up only four hits. Um, Dollard was didn't pitch as much. I think we'll start with Phillips in the pen. Yeah, we'll start with him in pen. We'll see how that goes. We also lost um, Lucas Malstead for a, a couple of months, which sucks because he was so good last year. Uh, and Buxton is on the DL. He'll be off the DL here shortly, but he's still um, dealing with a hamstring strain. So, um, so we got to send, I think, one batter down, right? Um... Anybody want Peyton Graham? Doesn't look like it. Carson Williams is elite defensively, but it's six point nine million dollars. I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe he becomes our starter, and we we kind of backtrack a little bit. Will they retain? Lying here. Ohani Rosenthal. I mean, I would be okay with that. Trent Christian, sure. Yeah, so this actually works. This allows us to, uh, to send, um, um, where is he? Josh Moore back down because he's he's not ready. I mean, I, I I say he's not ready, but he's not going to develop any further. That being said, Carson Williams is a better defensive shortstop right now. So I think we make this deal. I'm good with that. All right. So let's put Carson Williams on the team. That means we can send Moore down to Triple A. Um, do we still have to send anybody? I think we have 27 men here, right? Yeah, so let's get to opening day. We will have to make a move once Buxton comes back, which is right now. So... I think it's going to be... We picked up this Steven Acevedo guy in the Rule 5. Um, I like him because he's got the better better contact than Anthony Garcia. Better contact, better gap power. But Garcia's got the better eye. Um, 
what does... I was thinking maybe he had some sort of bump at some point. I mean, a couple years ago. He's got speed, too, really? He's got a little bit of speed. I think we'll go with Garcia, and I think we just send Acevedo back. That's fine. All right, let's get to opening that. Oh, we got to bring a Buxton back. So I think what we'll do is we'll play opening day, and then I will call it an episode, and then offline I'll sim to, um, I don't know, middle of May, beginning of June or something, and the next episode, or the live stream will be, uh, um, maybe the live stream will be what we did last week, which is July and, and the end of the season. So maybe I'll sim the first couple of months offline between now and, and Sunday. Um, that might not be a terrible idea, so that means this video will be a tad shorter, but that's okay. Thinks we should win it all. Uh, we do not have a top 10 prospect. Is our Last year we only had one prospect in the top 100. Has that changed at all? We've got two. <laughs> Morosini and Zorito. Uh, so that's better. We still have the second to worst... Uh, second to worst... Um, Minor league system in baseball. All right, what does this want to do with our bullpen? Once well, Cole Phillips is the closer, I'm not okay with that. Uh, Raylan Perez was so good last season. Don't forget Perez. We had to send down to the minors a couple of years ago. Um, here in 2027 because he was so terrible. But he has figured it out, so he will be our closer. Um, Phillips is going to a middle relief role. Griffith is middle relief used more often. Wolfuck we can probably do use more often as well. Gonzalez as a setup and specialist. Vera as a setup slash closer is fine. And then Salvador and Balls will be our long guys. Yeah, I'm okay with that. We have to extend pitch counts for everybody. We go to our lineup. Batting ratings. So Jung Hu Lee leads it off out in right field. Uh, our number two hitter. Lee's a lefty, right? Yeah. So I don't want to go lefty, lefty, lefty at the top of my order, but that may be. Unless we want to go. I don't want to go Harai. Harai needs to be in an RBI spot, I think. So I think we're going to go lefty, lefty, lefty. Or do we go Hernandez? Yeah, we'll put Hernandez in the two hole at DH. And our three hitter is Riley Green. Our cleanup hitter is Byron Buxton. Number five is O'Neill Cruz. Arise in the sixth spot. Uh, first baseman against against righties is going to be Cam Collier. In fact, let's just make him a first baseman. And we've got Carson Williams. It's not terrible. Not terrible. And then Jeremy Maxey will get the start behind the plate. He can hit enough, I think. And even if he can't, we've been living with catchers who can't hit for the better part of a decade. So I think we'll be fine. Um, it does mean that Riley Jackson is going to be our backup catcher, which isn't fantastic, but we'll survive. Uh, copy that lineup. Paste, and then against lefties, we will bring in... Do this. So Collier will come out and Jalof. 55. It's just not a very good bat. I kind of like the idea of going with Garcia. Let's just see what happens. Uh, he's better against. Actually, he's the same against lefties and righties. Let's just see what happens hitting, with hitting him out of the seventh spot. And Riley Jackson will start against lefties. Let's just see what happens. Uh, Jalof will be our backup DH, starting once a week, I suppose. And then Garcia will back up there, starting once a week. All right. 
So let's, uh, let's get to it. Actually, let's look at the waiver wire first. And then we will play the game, and we'll call it an episode. Hater Blanco. I mean, he could be a starter. Four good pitches. I mean, he's probably 50, 50, 55 as a starter, which I'm fine with. Danny Fanning, no. Yep, yeah, we're going to take a run at Hater Blanco and see if we can add him to our bullpen. There's nobody there, so let's go ahead and play this game against Seattle. Alta Murano is apparently not on the 40 man. He is now. Jeremy Maxey is not on the 40 man. Well, he is now. What about now? Can we play the game now? We're over the limit. Okay, so we still have to send somebody down. Um, I mean, I hate to do it, but it's got to be Jaloff. Assuming he can. He can, okay. All right, now can we play the stupid game? We can, all right. So they will send up Cole Young, Tristan Cautious, Julio Rodriguez, Eduardo Escobar is their DH, Gabriel Gonzalez, Daryl Arnaiz, will bat sixth and play second, Jared Kalinich in left, Ben Plotke will bat eighth and play third, and Reese McGuire will do the catching for George Kirby, who was 7 and 12, 3 9 6 a year ago. On the other side, we've got Lee Hernandez Green, Buxton O'Neill, uh, Buxton Cruz, Harai, Collier, Williams, Maxi, and Serna, who was 8 and 10 with a 3 4 8. So let's play the game, or let the AI play the game, and see if we can win on opening day. Here we go. Our owner wants us to win it all, and I think we have a team that can do it. Casas with a fly ball to right. And Julio Rodriguez strikes out. So Serena strikes out a pair in the first inning. Jung Hu Lee will lead off with a fly out to right. Roberto Hernandez with a fly ball to right. And Riley Green. Base hit to right. So right fielder getting a lot of action here in the first inning. Buxton now. Loops it to left, and that'll be it. Swings at the 3-0 pitch. Interesting. Escobar grounds it to Harai. One away. Gonzalez with a base hit to center. So that's their first hit. A one-out single in the second. Aaron Nae strikes out. And whoever that is got a single to center. Runners at the corners with two away in the second. And plot key strikes out. So that's four strikeouts through two for Serna. Another fly ball to right. This time it's a base hit. Leadoff single for O'Neill Cruz. Harai grounds it to short. Stays out of the double play. Collier's first at bat is a fly out to center. Cruz will stay at second. And Carson Williams with a ground ball to short. Reese McGuire off the end of the bat, and that'll be an infield single for the catcher. Young to third, and we're able to turn over the double play. Casas fly ball to left, over the head of Riley Green, so that'll be a double, a single, okay. Uh, Rodriguez to center, is that going to stay in the park? It is, right against the wall. Maxi in his debut strikes out. Jung Hu Lee lofts it to left. That'll stay in the park though. And Eriberto Hernandez with a ground out to third. Scoreless through three. Here's Escobar. He strikes out. Fifth strikeout for Serna. Gabriel Gonzalez to short. Two away. And Ernais. He strikes out. So six strikeouts through four for Serna. Still looking for some offense. Not going to get it there. Or there. Or there. We go in order in the fourth. 
Kalinich. Lead off single. Five singles now for Seattle. Misses the bunt attempt. Grounds it down the third baseline, so that'll be extra bases. Second and third, nobody out for Reese McGuire. McGuire jacks it to right. That'll stay in the park. Should be deep enough to get a run home. Seattle takes a 1-0 lead. Young strikes out. And Casas with a fly ball to center. It gets down. So Tristan Casas with a couple of hits. And Seattle with a 2-0 lead here in the fifth inning. Get the offense going here, guys. We got two hits through four. Harai with a ground ball. One away. Cam Collier. He strikes out. And Carson Williams with a ground ball to first. That'll be an infield single. At least we flip the lineup here. Still 2 0 now after five. Escobar strikes out. Gonzalez, fly ball to right, two outs, and Ernaiz with, it's probably going to be a double, just knowing the way the graphics work. Yep, two out double. And that'll be it for uh, for Saren. It goes five and, a two, five and two thirds. They bring in Wolfick, and he gets out of it. We're down two nothing, going to the bottom of the sixth. Kirby against Jung-Hoo Lee, strikes him out again. Hernandez, fly ball to right center, catch is made out there, and Riley Green, catch is made out in left center, still only two hits now through six, McGuire against Wolfuck. had somebody on the field I guess, Wolfick line drive to right, lead off single, Cole Young strikes out, Asis strikes out. We finally get him. And Rodriguez will fly out to left. So we go to the stretch. We have three hits. Buxton leads off against Eric Pinales. And lines a single to center. So tying run at the plate. Just our fourth hit of the ball game. O'Neal Cruz strikes out. Fly out to left there. And Cam Collier. Strikes out. So we get a leadoff single, and that is it. Wolfuck still out there. It's Escobar. It's ground ball into the shift. One away. Gonzalez flies out to center. See, Serna wasn't bad. Two runs and five and two thirds, but our offense has not been able to help. Aaron Naiz with a single that drops in front of the left fielder. And he steals second. Lefty on lefty here. Ground ball to first. And that retires the side. We only have four hits going to the eighth, and they're all singles. Slade Caldwell with the pinch hit. He strikes out. Maxi with a fly ball to center. That'll be the second out. And Jung Hoo Lee. Grounds out to short. So no runs on four hits through eight. For your White Sox, Plotky leads off with a strikeout. Now Reese McGuire, lefty on lefty with a base hit to center. And it's off the wall. Looks like another run's going to come in. Yep, it's 3-0 now. Costa strikes out there. Rodriguez walks. Escobar, that's a three-run homer. So all of a sudden, we're getting blown out. It's 6 nothing here in the ninth. Not a good start to our season. Roberto Hernandez comes up, draws a walk. Green grounds into a 4-6-3 double play, and we get shut out on opening day. We just got one more shot here as Buxton with a two out double to center. Cruz to right. Buxton stops at third. 
And Harai retires the runner at second, and we get shut out on opening day. Not a good start to the season. I believe that's how our Cubs season started last year too, right? We got we lost six nothing on opening day. Serna wasn't bad. Five and two thirds, eight hits, no walks, eight strikeouts. Uh, but we could get nothing done against George Kirby. So that is going to do it, guys. I'm going to call it there. I'm going to sim uh, probably to the beginning of July offline. So when we come back on Sunday night for the live stream, we are right into draft and deadline territory. So appreciate you watching, guys. Appreciate the support. I'll see you all Sunday at 6 p.m. Central for the live stream over on Twitch on GM Games. Have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.